Hey, it's Jake Mace with jakemace.com here with my friend and colleague Matthew Lee with Tao of Kung Fu. My favorite animal style of Shaolin style Kung Fu is praying mantis. That's my personal favorite style. And so I've had a lot of requests to show a brief sequence of what praying mantis Kung Fu looks like. And I thought I would show you guys in this video right now and then at the end of the video, we're gonna show you how to use the moves for self-defense on the street in a real world scenario. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel here because I will have a complete training series on all aspects of praying mantis kung fu from joint conditioning, muscle conditioning, endurance training, fighting technique, fighting concept, meditation, and form, what we call Tao Lu or Kata. But today, it's gonna to be very basic and simple and you guys at home can totally follow along and do these moves with me. So right now, jump up and try to match me move for move. Stand tall, and first we wanna prepare the breath, and as we're breathing intensely, get in touch with our inner mantis and feel like we're transforming from a human into a praying mantis. So breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. After that, we're gonna to slide to the left into a solid stance that we call a bow stance, and we're going to attack with the left chop, the pinky side of the hand chops with palm down. So we're here in natural stance, we step out, chop palm down. Gather momentum, and side hand with the right hand, boom, fingers up, side hand. The other hand pulls to our head. So one more time for that piece. After we do our breath, We step out to a powerful stance, left foot steps out. Side hand with palm down. Right hand, side hands with fingers up. Then somebody grabs onto our arm, how dare they? We scrape our left hand down our right arm and pull back to a monkey stance here because Praying Mantis utilizes monkey footwork. Push off the right leg and give a body level side kick right to our opponent right to the body. After that, we use that leg, we step across and cross our feet this way. Both hands beak down this way here, getting as low as your body will let you go. Then jump out as far as you can, again to monkey stance and beak again, right here. Good position. Spin to the right and chop boom, to a powerful stance, bow stance, palm down. Spin to the left, Boom, powerful chop, palm down to bow stance. Draw up, push, in, and out. If I was teaching you in real life, face to face, in the same room as you, I would make you follow me through this at least 10 times. Then I would have you do it on your own, facing different directions. The power of video is that you guys can refresh the page and watch this again to get those details. So right now, let's do it one time, a little more fluid from the front, and then a second time, a little more fluid from the back view. In this short mantis sequence, there was four times that we used an open hand attack. We used them palm down, we used them fingertips up. And I want you guys to remember that the advantage that a Kung Fu student and a Kung Fu practitioner has in today's world is that 
MMA and UFC is being overhyped to the nines. There's billions of dollars involved hyping those martial arts and fight organizations up. And they're all taught very similar things, to have a similar stance, similar defense, and similar fundamentals. So the Kung Fu stylist has an advantage because they're not gonna be used to our angles of attack and our quote unquote unorthodox fighting even though the Chinese people have been doing Chinese Gong Fu for over a millennia. Since we're not fighting with gloves on, we have open hands, I wanna be focused on chopping to the neck, chopping to the jaw, chopping to the temple. Other side, chopping to the neck, to the jaw, to the temple. And these attacks that come like a backhand style attack are hard to pick up and they're one tool in my tool chest of techniques that I can bring out for Mantis Kung Fu to effectively defend myself and protect myself if I ever needed to on the street. So the first attack of this sequence is slamming the neck, slamming the jaw, slamming the temple. We can also be hitting to the ribs, hitting under the arms. These are the areas we wanna focus with that palm down chop. The second move we have the fingers up side hand and this is gonna be important to go to solar plexus, to go to the nose. I would say that this part of the body is magnetized to the solar plexus. This part of the body is magnetized to the nose. So we're looking for solar plexus, we're looking for nose for the side hand, we're looking for neck, jaw, temple, ribs, and underarm for the chop. Now in the form, after I side hand, I have to scrape off back to monkey stance and give him a nice side kick. A lot of times your opponent might grab onto the wrist. If they do, I want you to trap their hand here and pull them into your monkey stance. Pull them back into your zone right here. And then you have that left knee in a prime position for knee traps or possibly even for kicks into the body right there. So again, when they grab onto your wrist, instead of trying to pull away this way, grab onto their attacking hand Use the entire body with a stance shift from forward stance to monkey stance. Take out the knee or possibly hit into the body. And that's what we're doing in the form when we do the side hand scrape off side kick. So one more time, they grab onto us, capture their attack, pull them into that monkey stance, go for the body or go for the knee. And hopefully then you can have enough power to get away and get out of there. Praying Mantis Kung Fu utilizes a lot of different hand positions. I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the different hand positions of Mantis later on. And one of them is the beak. All five fingers come in to one focus point like the arms of a Mantis. We call it the beak in English. When they're in a fighting stance position here, I can use the hooking nature of this Mantis hand position to hook their lead hand out of the way sink down into that monkey stance and hit right to the groin. So again, we're here, hook it out of the way, come into monkey stance and hit right to the groin. And then I could evade the situation by throwing a sweep and get out of there. Are you guys understanding the power of the monkey stance? Are you understanding the power of the mantis hand positions? This fighting application gives you a glimpse of why it's important to have the colorful nature of the mantis, the form nature of the mantis, the breathing nature of the mantis, the training of the mantis, and the practical street fighting of the mantis. So once again, we're in our position. Instead of fighting traditional, modern day MMA style, we're gonna go Kung Fu style with mantis hands. Hook this out of the way, come in, duck his second hand to monkey, hit to the groin, and as I pull away, throw that sweep and get yourself clear of the situation. In conclusion, I want you guys to check me out on social media, Jake Mace Tai Chi on Instagram and Snapchat, and my man Matthew Lee at the Tao of Kung Fu YouTube channel. It's important that you guys train this praying mantis form sequence by yourself and think of it as shadow boxing of praying mantis gong fu. Do it at least 10 or 20 times a day. This is a basic beginner level sequence that will condition your mind and body to accept the more difficult sequences we're gonna show you later. Train the sequence facing different directions, sometimes north, sometimes south, sometimes east and west. Go outside sometimes, inside sometimes. Have somebody watch you sometimes, it's very nerve wracking. And then get a willing partner and try the fighting moves I showed you today in this video. And if you stick past my credits, we have a bonus scene at the end showing you the form performed from the back and the front in full speed.